Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I've got some very big news for you. Our favorite correspondent in the entire country, Will Johnson, is at CPAC in Florida. And Will is going to give us a preview of what we're going to expect from the conservative movement over the next three days. Will, thank you so much for staying up in the wee hours of Friday to talk to us. And welcome back to ATP Report, my friend. Glad to be here. Glad so let's, to be here. let's kick it off with what everybody is talking about all over the country. President Trump is going to have his, well, his coming out party post 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And two people that you would think would never endorse this man, no matter who was running, and I'm speaking specifically about the esteemed GOP senators from Utah and Kentucky uh, being McConnell and Romney have both come out and said, if President Trump decides to run in 2024, he will be the nominee. What are your thoughts on that? I thought these guys hated Donald Trump. They do hate President Trump. The only reason why they're saying that is because they're trying to rally people up that still support President Trump to get their support. That's all that's about, to get funding from those people. Because they're gonna do the same thing again. They're gonna, the first opportunity to come up, they're going to stab President Trump in the back. President Trump campaigned for these people. President Trump spoke up for these people. People voted for them because of what President Trump was saying about them. And then they turned right around and stabbed them in the back. They're doing the same thing, right? And they expect us to like just forget about it, like it never even happened. Well, I, I find it astounding, Will, because I mean, these guys wanted Trump to go down. Let's not yes. forget Romney voted for impeachment again. Yes, yes, unbelievable. Voted for him, uh, the second time, absolutely. They don't, they don't, they, you know what? They wanted to remove President Trump because they kept hearing the liberal media and even some of the established conservatives, Republicans rather, saying that this party is no longer the same Republican Party. It's the party of Trump. They wanted to remove Trump and get Trump out of the way so they can get their party back. I don't think it's going to happen, buddy. I really, really don't. How popular is Trump in Florida amongst the rest of the CPAC conventioneers? Oh, you know what? I think I would have to say 95%, and that's low number, 95% of the people that are here, they're here because of President Trump. Not because of Ms. McConnell, Lindsey Graham, Liz Cheney, Mitt Romney, not because of them. And not because of these 10 Republicans that voted to impeach President Trump. They are here be because of President Trump. And when he made the announcement that he's going to be here Sunday, it went wild. And now it even it went so far that Twitter, if you go to Twitter right now and see any links from CPAC, Twitter has made it to where that link does not work. That's how much they're trying to prevent people from seeing what's happening here. Well, what is it that people are looking to get out of CPAC besides Trump on Sunday? Well, I talked to a couple of people and they said the main reason what they're here to at CPAC is to coordinate and to make connections with other like-minded people. That was overwhelmingly the answer that I received. And they just want to make connections and talk to people that and don't have to worry about, you know, Antifa and BLM and the socialist communists attacking them for not agreeing with them. We're here with like-minded people. Well, tell me this. In terms of the speakers that are going to be on the podium, we know Trump is going to be the monster draw, and that's going to be Sunday. Who are people the most excited to hear from? Like, who's Will Johnson excited to hear? Well, you know, I do like Matt Gates. I have to tell you, I, I, I do like him. I want to hear Governor Santez and hear what he has to say, the governor of Florida. I want to hear what he has to say. But the rest of them... I, you know, I kind of got a general idea of what they're going to say about the Democrats and what we need to do. And my biggest thing is, is listening to what the people have to say. Got it. So by Sunday, as you said, and I believe you because you're, you've got your finger on this pulse, Will, 
Trump's the man if he wants to be the man. I'm going to ask you two things. These are predictions before it has started. I mean, you're obviously there. Uh, you, you've been around the buzz. You're getting a feel for the vibe in the audience, so to speak. Number one question. Does the GOP leave Florida Sunday night, Monday morning unified? That's a good question. Uh, maybe not the GOP, but maybe the GNP, the grand new party. Because <laughs> the, the grand old party is old. It needs to go away. It needs to be changed. You know, the Democrats changed their party. It is now the Democrat Socialist Party or the Democrat Socialist Communist Party. We need to change the GOP. And that's what Mitt Romney, Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, the whole lot of them, they're upset because the party is changing. And it's changing for the better. It would have been to their interest to still stick with President Trump, to stand up for President Trump. But they didn't realize it. They thought they were making it, they thought making a deal with the devil they were going to get something out of it, and they're getting just the opposite. They didn't realize it. Well, all right. I appreciate that. And, and in that sense, I agree with everything you just said. Here's the, <laughs> here's the big one. Does the party leave Florida united by, behind Trump till 2024 with him on the top of the ticket? What's your prediction? Well, I believe, I, I do believe that if President Trump come Sunday and he makes announcement that he's going to run for 2024. But, you know, I, I be honest with you, I don't know. I, I don't think that he actually will make that announcement now. I think it will happen after the midterm election, but let's say after Sunday, he's going to see how many people want him to continue. He's going to see that. And I think this is part of that for him to come to and come and see for himself, how the people react, do they still want him after, you know, because a lot of people think that he gave up and it looks that way, just to be honest, because he had the opportunity to, opportunity to call martial law. When they broke the law by going against the U.S. Constitution, by going to these judges, going around the legislators, they completely violated the U.S. Constitution. He could have, within his authority, called martial law. I wish he would have. And just let just whatever the outcome of that would take in place and let it happen. But it didn't happen because now we have a coup d'etat under the cloak of a an election that took place in the United States of America and they removed President Trump. So I think the country or the Republicans, they're gonna remain unified behind Trump, even through all of that. I still think that. And I think after this Sunday. President Trump is going to, he's probably going to weigh should he continue. That's just my opinion, but we'll, well see. We're very, very appreciative of you staying up all night to be on the air with us live from CPAC. Will you come back every day and give us highlights, please? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We'd love to. We'd love to have you. And we're very appreciative. You don't even look tired, my friend. I can't believe <laughs> it. You've been traveling all across the country. It's the middle of the night. And you're on TV with ATP, and we sure appreciate you. From all well, of us at ATP, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here. And I think we all have to engage in this fight. We can sleep. We can rest when it's all over. Right on. And for those of you out there in ATP land that want to see more of Will Johnson, all you got to do is take out your cell phone, text the word TRUTH, and send it to 88202. We'll sign you up. You get all of our stuff on your cell phone for free. We never charge for content. You'll have spent about five seconds doing it. Thanks, Will. We'll see you tomorrow. And thank you for joining us on ATP Report. I'm Barry Newsbaum.